ABC Listen. Podcasts, radio, news, music and more. It was meant to be a sign that all is well. A beaming photo of the Princess of Wales and her children designed to kill off wild conspiracy theories about Kate's health. But then the big news agencies pulled the photo, concerned it may have been manipulated. Today, Royal Watcher for the ABC, Juliet Reedon, on the royal family's tight control of its images. I'm Sam Hawley on Gadigal Land in Sydney. This is ABC News Daily. Juliet, there's been huge speculation in recent weeks about the health of the Princess of Wales, and we'll come to how that's unfolded in a moment, but we've got to start with this photo. British and international media has been working itself into a frenzy these past few weeks over the well-being and the whereabouts of Catherine, the Princess of Wales. The photo, taken by Catherine's husband, Prince William, at Windsor last week, shows the princess beaming with her three children. It's the first official image released since her abdominal surgery around two months ago and follows wild internet speculation about her health. It's a photo that was released by Kensington Palace on the weekend to mark Mother's Day. Yes, I mean, it's a beautiful photo. It has uh, Kate in, in the middle with her arms outstretched around Prince Louis and Princess Charlotte. And Prince George is standing behind and everyone looks happy. George is really laughing. They're all smiling and laughing. And the idea is to show, uh, is to celebrate Mothering Sunday in the UK, but also to show that Kate is, you know, getting on well and that she's she's happy and well and in the bosom of her family. And hopefully we'll see her back at engagement soon. And significantly, it was the first authorised picture of Kate released since Christmas. Yes, the first authorised picture. And, you know, she she hasn't appeared in public since Christmas Day, but she was photographed by paparazzi being driven by her mother in Windsor last week. Now, that photo was published in the US and Europe and, and in some places here in Australia, but not in the UK. Kensington Palace were very clear that they asked for privacy for the Princess of Wales whilst she was recuperating from the abdominal surgery she had in January. And uh, they you know, take a dim view of paparazzi taking these long lens shots. And the UK media stood by that and didn't print the picture picture. But I think as as the picture was circulated more and more, especially on social media, it became clear that the UK media needed something. And uh, this picture appeared taken by Prince William at Windsor last week. And that showed the princess looking hale and hearty. So Mm. I think that was the rationale behind it all. Mm, Okay. And just to explain the process a bit, It's an authorised picture from Kensington Palace, but it's released more widely across the world by newswires organisations. Just explain that process. Yes. So um, all the shots that Kensington Palace released, they put through um, an agency, a wire agency in the UK. So they put it there. They don't charge for it. They expect the photograph to be distributed for free to news networks around the world. And uh, that is how it happens. But Mm. it it is one photo that has come from Kensington Palace. Right. Okay. So then there's these news organisations or wires agencies, Associated Press, Reuters, and others. And four of those news organisations that distribute this image more widely then moved to kill that image. What does that mean? Yes, well, I've actually never seen one of these before, but it pinged into my inbox and it, uh, it killed the photograph. And it said that it was uh, doing so uh, in order to retract the image because on closer inspection, it appeared the source had manipulated the image in a way that didn't meet the agency's standards. 
And everyone now has been, you know, uh, analysing this photo to mm. suggest there are various inconsistencies in it, to suggest that it has been manipulated at source. Mm, OK, so what are they alleging? Where has this photograph been altered or how? The agency says there's an inconsistency in the alignment of Princess Charlotte's left hand. So I think... What has probably happened, but I am only guessing, mm -hmm. okay. is that there were a number of uh, frames taken in this photo shoot. We will see this frame. Everybody looks perfect. You know, they're all smiling. They're all doing it at the same time. Nobody's got squinting eyes. Nobody's looking away. There's no hair in anyone's face. And I suspect that there were a few different frames pushed together to make this happen. Mm -hmm. So as in the final shot, everybody is looking great. Now, now, this, you know, this happens. This happens in a lot of photographs that are put out. And I'm, I'm surprised at the agency because I would imagine there are more photos on, in their back catalogue where uh, this has happened. Mm. But I don't know whether that has happened in this scenario. But if that has happened, then there's no suggestion that this isn't a photograph of the Princess of Wales and her children taken last week by Prince William, but it may be, you know, lots of frames put together. Right. Okay. And the agencies have never, as I understand, killed off a royal photo before, but they do have a policy of not distributing photographs that have been overly edited. So there's been huge scrutiny of this photo because the Princess of Wales has also been out of the public eye for such a long time because she had this surgery in January and the palace had said she won't be back to her normal duties until Easter. That's right. So the palace said that she had the abdominal surgery in January and that it went well uh, and that she was back at home recuperating. The palace also said that they would not be giving regular updates unless there was anything to say. They asked for the media to leave the princess in peace, to respect her privacy. Largely, that has been the case in the mainstream media. But of course, online and in social media, there have been these ridiculous and often quite hurtful conspiracy theories swirling about Catherine. I wouldn't repeat them here, mm. but this is what happens on especially the dark corners of social media. Anyone can say anything, they're unregulated, and they do. And they're just uh, making stuff up, basically. This mm. is fake news. Speculation hit fever pitch last week, didn't it, when the British military seemed to muddy the waters for people a bit more. Tell me what happened. Yes, so the British military, the Ministry of Defence, put out a statement about the Trooping the Colour Festival to celebrate the King's birthday. This year, of course, we don't know what's happening with the Trooping, trooping the Colour because the King is still going through treatment himself for cancer and we haven't seen the Princess of Wales and don't know whether she'll be there. But they put out a statement saying that she would be there they very quickly were told by Kensington Palace that they needed to retract that statement because engagements can only be confirmed by Kensington Palace for the Prince and Princess of Wales, and they are not confirming any engagements. I just want to unpack this just a bit more with you, Juliet, because the way the royal family puts out images has really altered a lot since the death of Princess Diana, hasn't it? Because they used to be photographed all of the time by the paparazzi and that just doesn't happen anymore. No. So since the uh, tragic death of Princess Diana, the royal family have done a deal basically with the British newspapers and asked them not to buy paparazzi shots. And largely it has worked. And what they do from their side of the deal, what the royal family delivers on, is regular pictures of the family that are taken and distributed for free to the uh, media to use. Mm, but they're images they control, the royal family, and they choose how they look in those images and the British press plays ball with this. 
Yes, by and large. But having said that, the, the British press can photograph the uh, royal family at official engagements and they come on tours with them. There is a royal rota that follows them at all of their work engagements. So it's not that uh, every picture could be manipulated. So, Juliet, there's apparently a huge public appetite for updates on Kate's health. But what do the royals really owe the public? Do you think this level of scrutiny, speculations, conspiracy theories is really fair? I don't, actually. I mean, I, I completely understand that the royal family are public figures paid for by the taxpayer to do their job. And uh, their job is is a, a rather bizarre one, but it's one that mostly they were born into. Obviously, Catherine married into it. And it's a public service job. It's a, it's a job of duty. I don't think that this seeping into their private lives is fair at all. You know, to ask the members of the royal family to tell us exactly what's going on with the private details of their health issues is not fair. We didn't hear it with the Queen and we we were okay about that. But we seem to expect it of the family now and especially of the younger ones. Mm, it's also a big business, isn't it? It's been labelled the firm, of course. But it seems like the royal family is losing control of the narrative right now. Certainly in the last week, yes, I would say that. I mean, and I think it's unfortunate because obviously this involves two people who are going through quite serious health issues and it has become a a conspiracy theory news story that has taken us way away from that. And I think that's unfortunate and and I do think it's unfair. Mm, So when it comes to pictures, the images the royal family puts out, do you think this will be a line in the sand that digital manipulation of an image coming from the palace is just not on? I imagine that there are people behind closed doors at the palace at the moment thinking very heavily about the pictures that they put out. Mm. Do you think the royals do need to be somewhat more forthright with the public to stop this sort of wild speculation happening? I I don't see how they can be. You know, in this particular scenario, we're talking about the private health of two individuals. The king has been pretty open and he is the monarch and I, I applaud that transparency. I don't think it's fair to ask these questions. I really don't. I don't think it's up to the public to know exactly what is going on with the private health matters of the royal family. Juliet Reedon is the ABC's royal correspondent. This episode was produced by Bridget Fitzgerald with audio production by Sam Dunn. Our supervising producer is David Cody. I'm Sam Morley. ABC News Daily will be back again tomorrow. Thanks for listening.